Life has been quiet and slow for many of us during the pandemic, but car thieves have been busier than ever. The I-Team's Randy Mack shares who they're targeting and how COVID is making their job easier. Torsier said woke up this past Christmas morning thinking Santa hadn't been very good to him. His car, usually parked in his Rancho Palos Verdes driveway, was gone. So I go out there, I'm like looking around, I look down the hill, I'm like, Panicked, it went down the hill and hit somebody. Nope, look closely. You can barely see it. But a security camera footage shows someone stealing it. He pulls out, he backs all the way up the road and takes off. But a true gift came just a few hours later. Tor's car was found. The charge on his stolen electric car had run out. So the thief abandoned it and bolted. It was like a Christmas miracle. Tom Gass, GMC Sierra truck, disappeared one afternoon while he was playing golf with some buddies in Yorba Linda. Your first reaction is, okay, I must have parked someplace else. Tom's truck was stolen too, recovered just a mile away. Well, the good news is we found your truck. The bad news is they ripped out your dash and took your stereo. These stories may sound bizarre, even rare, but LAPD Lieutenant Bruce Hosea says they're not. This is a really significant problem. The I-Team obtained data from the LAPD and LA County Sheriff's Office. In 2020, 33,800 cars were reported stolen in LA County, compared to 25,500 in 2019 a 32 percent increase and lieutenant hosea says coronavirus plays a big part in this la county currently has a zero bail policy for crimes like stealing cars to help prevent the spread of coronavirus in jails but lieutenant hosea says when car thieves don't go to jail they go right back to the streets had incidents where we've had uh, suspects who've been arrested multiple times in the same day for car theft and what cars are they stealing the most Honda Civics, Accords, and CRVs from the late 90s, and Chevy Silverados from the early 2000s. Tenant Hosea says these cars are easy to break into, easy to steal. But that doesn't mean thieves won't swipe your newer car, too. Tenant Hosea says they do. That's often the owner's fault. We do have a lot of incidents where people are just simply leaving their keys in their car. So Lieutenant Hosea has these tips to keep your car safe. Install a car alarm if you don't have one, or use a locking device like the club. Park in well-lit areas. Don't leave your keys in the car, and always lock your car. It's advice Tom has taken. He installed new security features in his truck. Tours considering a driveway gate. They say the thieves have left them no choice. I've done everything I possibly can now. If the car's gonna get stolen, it's gonna get stolen. Just like what happened with Tom and Tor, Lieutenant Hosea says that the vast majority of stolen cars are returned to their owners and they're generally recovered just a few miles away. In Chino Hills for the I-Team, I'm Randy Mack, NBC4 News.